Alright, so I thought I'd just do a quick update. Um, I haven't gotten too far yet because uh, I've been really busy with school stuff. I got two reports to do this week in a lab and I've had uh, quite a few uh, tests the week before so I've been pretty tied up but um, yeah so far I've determined that either um, 24 um, 70 amp hour CALB cells will fit, maybe even 25 uh, would be nice in series and or um, the 100 amp hour GBS cells will fit but only 22 will fit uh, in order to fit 24 it would pretty much be a miracle so I think 22 is pretty much all that will fit in that one but with the CALB cells I think uh, 24 could fit pretty easily so yeah I've been contacting a few manufacturers about the cells and uh, no one's got back to me yet so uh, but you know, it hasn't even been a day so I've contacted three distributors so hopefully uh, I'll hear back from someone and uh, I'll make a choice uh, right now I'm hoping for the uh, the CALB cells actually because um, the uh, the voltage will be higher so I can get uh, so the motor will spin a little faster that would be nice but uh, the GBS cells would hold uh, more energy this would be about 7 kilowatt hours and this would be uh, 5.6 kilowatt hours so a good thing is that I can actually fit in uh, more uh, energy than I thought I could originally I was thinking I'd only be able to fit in about uh, 4.6 kilowatt hours so the fact that I can fit uh, more than five kilowatt hours in is really good. So, so yeah, I'll, I'll update you guys uh, when uh, more stuff gets done. I'm still uh, haven't really got much further on the BMS yet because I've been so busy, so tied up. So, uh, but I'll get around to it and uh, it'll get finished up. I'm sure uh, once those batteries get in, it will everything will um, project will move really quickly. So, yeah, you'll uh, see it as it unfolds.